and and honestly, I feel I actually kind of blacked out a little bit. Did I stand up when Charlotte got announced or later? Because I I just I went I went a little fuzzy in the in the lens here. Um, but I, I just saw I could see the the actual envelope came out. So I I I just jumped the gun when I saw Charlotte come out at two and and uh, yeah, I lost it a little bit. But it's just it's just so exciting. Recording I mean, in our, progress. Our, our, you know, we're the whole family's in it for the long run, and so to to have these uh, amazing instances of of good fortune that happens to really good people and Brian and RC and Pop and and our players and our fans that just ride with us and 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 stay with us. It's it's that that's what that joy that comes. It's like a we just man exciting. Pop said earlier that this franchise does not deserve any more luck than it's already had. Like too much serendipity. It was his term. Um, how do you fathom the luck that you guys have had? And, and, and just in a million years, did you think you guys would win? Yeah, I did. I really did Don. And, and the reason is because, you know, good. Uh, I believe in in the attraction, and and when when there's really great people being of service and building things that are bigger than themselves, good things happen to those people. And and we're we have a ton of those folks. We have a ton of those leaders um, everywhere in our in our in our family, in our family, you know, extended families, in our leadership group you know, people that you probably don't even know their names, right. That are down in the organization, medical players. Um, and, and I just, yeah, I, I, I believe that, that um, great, I believe that great things will happen to great people. Final question uh, to you. There has been said that this kid is so transformational that the valuation of your franchise could go from $2 billion to 2.5 billion by as early as tomorrow morning. Could you imagine a single player having that kind of impact on a franchise? Well, we did have David Robinson and another guy named Tim Duncan. So, yes, I can imagine. Uh, you know, this is this is the players like this is a uh, player's league. You know, I don't play. Pop doesn't play. Um, and so, yeah, uh, this is the, the, the players are 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 what drives us all. And so um, I can imagine it. And we've been so fortunate to be able to live it, uh, to leave that, to live that impact. I think we also know um, that this is a team sport and, and our culture has always been one of a team first mindset, no matter if we have uh, generational talent or not. Uh, and lastly, I'll say, listen, um, you know, the whole family, like we're, we're not in this for the money. We're, we're in this, uh, for the love of the game and the love of the city. And, um, and, and so it's just thrilling to see, uh, the, the sustainability and the commitment by so many folks get rewarded. Thanks, Tom. Let's go to Matthew Tyne and Matt. Hey, Peter, thank you for doing this, man. Okay. Congratulations. Um, I think all of us probably would have acted the same up there. Uh, I, I was, I was just curious in, in terms of, uh, in terms of the outlook on, of the organization, you guys have been doing a lot, uh, from an organizational standpoint, from an ownership standpoint, to, does this change the math at all in the approach that you guys have been taking over the last year or so? I would say that. Brian and RC and Pop deserve a tremendous amount of credit. It is not, it's not easy to go through transitions. It's not. Uh, and, and they, you know, have laid out a plan and a vision um, for, for getting us back to uh, championship winning teams. And, and that's our goal. Um, and so, but as you say, the NBA and any sport and life in general, changes happen. And so uh, the outline and the framework doesn't change, uh, but an instance or a moment may adjust the tactics within that framework. And so we are blessed to have this amazing team uh, that will um, take this draft process and add it into the overall framework uh, for, for um 
to make sure that we have sustainable success and, and our, and our legacy is one that's living. Well, and, and just to, it, it, it was announced today that uh, you have a new uh, shareholder, a new investor. Um, how, I'm sure you're excited about that as well, but how does uh, uh, um, another person in the mix, another smart mind, so to speak, help mold what you guys are going? Uh, yeah, you know, we, we, it's a great question. Uh, I, you know, our ownership group has always been uh, a large one. We've always had numerous intelligent corporations, individuals, families um, with a common set of core values and uh, an agreement on pillars of success. Um, and so to have someone like Paul that fits that, um, uh, join the team that can not only share in those same values, uh, but, but add new networks, um, is we're really excited about. And, and as the ownership group has had some change, um, you know, our mindset is one of attraction and uh, abundance. And so our view is that these folks are going to add to San Antonio. They're going to add to the Spurs. Uh, they're going to add to the organization. Uh, and, and we're going to do great things together. So it's, it's, it's pretty exciting that, that, um, uh, that we're having, uh, we're, we're rolling in good news. Thank Thanks, you. Matt. Let's go to Tim Riddle from the Associated Press. Thank you, Chris. Congratulations. The, the, um, I wanted to ask you, we, we've all watched, I think a lot of us from afar have thought Pop has enjoyed the last couple of seasons more than a lot of us thought he would. What do you think this night, this result means for him? And I know you've only had 32 minutes and counting to formulate a plan, but what do you think as far as just how much is Pop going to enjoy how much is pop? How much do you think you'll enjoy this kid and this opportunity? What what I'm so impressed constantly with Pop is, well, a bunch of things, but specifically his love for connecting with others and helping others, and and obviously that has been channeled in basketball. Uh, and so uh, to your point around this last season, there were times where I was in the gym and. I don't know if I saw a huge difference in the way he was showing up and talking to individual people or the team versus 10 years ago when he was talking to a championship team, meaning that his ability to connect and spend time uh, and, and bounce between the really detailed development of basketball players and the bigger picture of developing oh, people – um, it's just so impressive. I, and so I think, I think that no matter what pop does, he's going to find a way to do that because that's, that's in his heart. And so I'm, I'm excited to see whatever the next phase is, uh, in, in, in that journey. And, and we've been lucky to have pop for so long and, uh, it's, it's, it's just, uh, amazing to, to be, to be close with pop and, and close to see him shine. Peter, thank you very much. I know we've got some folks waiting, so we're, we're going to sub you out. But okay. thank you very much. Appreciate right. you. Thanks, y'all. Thank you, sir. Yep. We're all good. Yep. Good. Yep. All right. Your family's right here. Okay. Uh, see you guys again. All right. Awesome. <laughs> Jordan, mute. Local. 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 Okay, you ready? Yes, sir. Let's do it. Hey, Brian, we're going to go ahead and congratulations. Hell of a night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank go you. ahead and get started with uh, Nate Ryan from Kins 5. Nate? Brian, congratulations, man. First off, real quick, uh, your first question, now that you have the number one pick, you have an idea of who you're going to take? Yeah. Well, you know, we still got a lot of time left, a lot of work to do. <laughs> I'm sure we'll figure it out by, by, by draft time. Uh, how long have you let yourself and your front office, obviously, the losses started to pile up there towards the end of the season. But uh, from your guys' standpoint, how long have you guys had the conversation about the potential of getting to this point? Yeah, I think it's been for a long period of time. And, you know, a lot of things have to break your way. Um, you got to get a little lucky. Uh, everyone that's in this position does. And, you know, we've got a great staff that came up with the plan and, 
and and we got lucky tonight and and hopefully we can build on this and continue to build out the core and put a team together that that can really grow together over the next few years all right let's go to jeff garcia from kings five jeff thank you congratulations thank you sir thank you jeff uh, yeah, no problem. Just a couple quick questions here. Uh, there's a lot of Spurs fans right now in San Antonio and across the world that are celebrating uh, along with you. What would your message be to them, um, considering they went through last season and now there's this big, bright light at the end of the tunnel? I, I would just say enjoy it. Um, obviously, a long road still ahead um, and a lot of work to do to, to build this out and get to where we want to be, but a huge step forward tonight. Um, and, and continue to enjoy it. You know, like it's you enjoy the entire journey. It's not always fun, and it's not always um, just the great things. You, you gotta, you gotta enjoy and embrace your journey. And so, enjoy tonight. And have a great time. Celebrate, and then we get back to work tomorrow. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Let's go to Matt Tyne and Matt. Hey, Brian, thank you for doing this and congratulations. Um, I have a few questions, but uh, I'll, I'll jump to these as quickly as I can. How much did the outcome of this draft potentially play into the approach uh, this team may have taken this offseason in terms of aggressiveness or being conservative in terms of uh, building this roster? Yeah, it's a good question. Um, and the reality is, is, you know, our team is very young. Uh, the core of our group is you know, we, we had 11 players under 23 years old. And so we're still learning about them. Um, we're still learning how they all fit together and how they're going to grow. And the players that they are today, that's not going to be the player that they are in year two, year three, year four, year five, year six. And so we have to have some patience to understand what that looks like. But obviously, um, with this pick, we have the opportunity to add another foundational piece. Um, and hopefully we put the right pieces around them that continues to allow them to grow as, a, as an individual and allow the team to grow as, as a group. How much do you, and I know you can't always control this, obviously, but when you, how much do you as a, as a group uh, look ahead to future drafts and say, this one might be good, this one might be good, maybe we uh, stay off or, or stay back and, and be patient as opposed to trying to jump in and uh, do even more work in the upcoming draft? Yeah, no, it's a good question. We, we You've seen us trade for picks that are six years out and, Projecting what a 15-year-old will be um, by the time that they're draft eligible is a difficult thing to do. But it's something that our staff takes very seriously to try to understand the strength of drafts and what could be in that draft and try to align what we do to, to some of that. And again, it's luck. You know, it's things change over the course of time, but it's part of our process. And, and hopefully we can continue to, to do that well going forward. And lastly, real quick, uh, Victor obviously is someone who – made a move this last year to to ensure that his body would stay in good shape he's been uh super careful and and uh, meticulous about uh, uh the way he's taking care of himself is there any sort of different approach that you guys as a team are going to take with him once he's in the building once a very demanding nba regular season starts i haven't eaten myself yet so at, at a point in time tonight <laughs> When I can eat and we can sit down, uh, yeah, of course. Um, we want to put all of our players in, in, in the best position to succeed. Um, and that work starts, you know, day one. And a lot of that work has already been done and, and will continue to be done. And, and for our entire roster, we want to put them in position to succeed and to grow and to develop uh, at the right rate. So, absolutely. Thanks, Brad. Thanks, Matt. Let's go to Tim Reynolds from the Associated Press. Tim? Yeah, Chris. Brian, congratulations. Thank you, Tim. To follow up on Matt's question, I, I guess I, I've, I've been to Paris. I've seen him play a few times. He, he has such a meticulous warm-up. He's so – the things he goes through with his feet and just the attention to detail is ridiculous, for especially for a kid. Are those the things that stand out about him to you? Just – I mean, we, we know the size and the skill and all those things, but are, are, are is, the, is it the stuff that fans might not see? Is, are, are they the details that really stand out? Absolutely. Um, when you talk about generational talents, it's, it's oftentimes beyond just your ability to make a shot or your ability to jump or your ability to put the ball on the floor. It's all of the little details that go into uh, being great, becoming great. And as we've studied um, Victor, you know, like he is um, very 
in depth with everything that he does, whether it's on the court, whether it's training, but think that he's into off the court. And, um, you know, it's one of those things that those special qualities that allow you to, to, to really be great um, at something that you're doing. And he is definitely detailed and thorough and, and looks at things in a completely different way than a lot of people would. Brian, one, one, one quick follow-up. You, you had zero control, of course, about the ping pong balls, but can you shed a little light as to how calm or not calm today was for you as you waited? <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, you ever you seen the duck swim where your feet, you know, it was, it was a lot like that for most of the night. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, you control what you can control. You try to put yourself in a good position. And, and fortunately tonight we, we got a little luck. Thank you. All right. We'll go to Jeff McDonald from the express News. Jeff. Hey there, Brian. Um, that's like everybody said. Um, I'm just curious. It was 26 years ago when the Spurs uh, landed the Tim Duncan pick. Do you, do you remember watching that lottery wherever you were at? Um, do you remember that at all? I do not remember watching the lottery, but I do remember that draft. Um, and obviously remember Tim's story career. Um, but uh, no, I, I do not remember watching the draft lottery then. And just one quick question i mean um what, what's your next step are you like on a plane to paris tomorrow or or what's your what's the logistics from here well still tbd we're going to tackle step one of getting together with the group tonight enjoying this moment together and then we'll take care of tomorrow tomorrow